Hi, Ty. Uh, milestone two, task one, your long distance runner memoir. All right, so um, first thing, uh, date showing the 23rd, you took the pictures today. Uh, check your the time on your camera. It has a built-in clock, and a lot of times um, it won't be set correctly. So if it's set faster, you know, than what it really is, then, you know, uh, quite possibly it could change, change over, you know, at, at noon when it's really thinking that it should be uh, midnight the next day. So uh, just take a look at that and make sure that it's set the right way, and, and hopefully that's a quick and easy fix. All right, so um, let's take a look at your, uh, your images. So I really, really liked a whole bunch of these. One of the big issues that, uh, that I'm running into is they're all shot uh, horizontal for the most part when they need to be vertical because the, the book setup is a vertical book. So um, some of them we can still use by cropping. Um, but uh, let's, let's take a look at the three that you have submitted because you know typically the way I, I work things is I go through and I look at the contact sheets, and I get a good feel for the ones that I feel are the strongest, and then it's usually, I'll see uh, a couple of them and think, boy, I, I, that's a winner. I hope that is one of the images that the student chose. And in your case, you absolutely did. I'm gonna zoom back out a little bit so we can get the entire image in the, uh, in the screen. So this one, um, I like the color of the shoes, but otherwise, it's, it's all about the color, and it's not really about telling us about a memoir of a long-distance runner. Um, this one, be a little careful of the rule of thirds. We draw an X right through the image, and boom, your, your subject is dead center, what I tend to refer to as the bullseye effect. But the one that I saw in your contact sheets that I thought, boy, I hope that's included, is this image right here. Fantastic image. I love the... Uh, the slope of the ground that kind of going up, it's kind of representing a challenge, uh, maybe almost like a hurdle the, uh, uh, the, the runner's going into. Uh, the sun shining through those trees, we can tell it's winter. Um, no leaves on the trees. Uh, not a lot of color. I mean, a burst of warmth is coming from the sunshine, but other than that, kind of monotone. And I, I actually, I like it. So, uh, like I said, your, your images... Uh, for the book need to be vertical. So I think that is still absolutely doable with this, uh, this particular image here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab a, uh, a little crop tool real quick and just kinda do a real quick uh, cropping here and see what, uh, what it would look like. So something like that, um, I think, works very nicely. Uh, you then have that negative space that we're looking for up in here uh, that we can put uh, the, the, the text in with. Um, so, yeah, I, I think this image is definitely the, the, the winner of the bunch. So uh, great job on that one. Like I said, let's just make sure that for the, uh, the final submission that we get, uh, get it uh, cropped as a vertical rather than a horizontal uh, and just be very very mindful going forward to make sure that you double check the uh, the the, uh, the assignment to make sure like in this case if you opened up the that folder that had the zip files with the uh, the, the text it, it shows uh, an 8 by 10 uh, vertical shot so uh, hopefully that helps if you have any questions please don't hesitate and shoot me an email